What's up YouTube? In this video, I experiment with two methods to remove stubborn glue residue from metal. I'll be performing my experiment on these metal curtain rods I bought from a thrift store. This is what they looked like before, and this is what I was able to achieve after. <laughs> Now, before we get started, I'd like to ask for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell so you'll be the first to know about all my brand new videos. Let's begin. So I bought this curtain rod from a thrift store. It's a pretty nice rod. I've already gotten a few compliments, except some bright individual taped the two telescoping pieces together. So when I tried to remove the tape, it left a horrendous amount of sticky residue. So I figured I'd experiment, record the process, then show you guys two different ways I successfully removed this monstrous residue. One is 99% rubbing alcohol, also known as isopropyl alcohol. The other, nail polish remover, also known as acetone. If you know a product that you believe will do a better job at removing this glue, let me know down below. So you're also going to need some gloves to protect your hands, some sort of sponge that's abrasive, and a cup. So to start off, I'm going to be testing the nail polish remover. I poured some into my glass cup, then used my sponge to soak it up. I then just systematically began lightly scrubbing my pole. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to put on my gloves. This stuff probably isn't that great for your skin. Even though this potent, horrible smelling chemical, women like to rub on their fingertips. Speaking of which, both nail polish remover and acetone freaking stink. So you might want to open a window or do not do this in an unventilated area. So first thing I noticed is this residue comes off super fast. This method appears to work quite well. But what I did notice was the acetone started to kind of eat away at the sponge. Like the sponge started to fall apart, which makes sense because I think synthetic sponges such as this one are made of a combination of materials, including polyurethane, which for sure would get disintegrated by the acetone. And then I noticed this. Bum, 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 bum. You see the black paint coming off on the sponge? That's not good. But this is exactly what I expected. This metal pole is painted black and too much rubbing with the nail polish remover, it started to rub off the black paint. Acetone is some powerful stuff. Acetone. It tastes awful, but it works. By the way, don't drink acetone. So for the second test, I switched to the second pole and tried out the rubbing alcohol. Immediately, I noticed that it didn't seem to work quite as well. I had to scrub a lot harder for more amount of time to get off this glue residue. Mind you, it still worked, just not as well as the acetone. So after it was said and done, here are the two sponges I used. You can see the one with the black on it, which is the acetone sponge, is in much worse shape. Also, I noticed after that the pole I rubbed with acetone ended up leaving these strange streak marks, as you can see here. Now, I wasn't sure if these were permanent, so since the rubbing alcohol seemed to be a little less powerful, I thought I'd try to use it to remove these streaks.
and shiver me timbers, no more streaks. That's gonna be my slogan for my new window cleaning product. Shiver me timbers, no more streaks. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. And if you got something to say, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.